All right, guys, it's Dr. Matt. I'm here with a video on honing and the simple X stroke and why it may not be so simple. Some things that I found and seen can create problems. So I'm going to go over some techniques here, and I also will show some, some microscope slides as to demonstrate some of the things that I was talking about. So let's get right into this. Um, as we do the traditional X stroke. All right, we've all seen the animated video with the razor moving itself. You start up on the stone this way and you come down and across at an angle like that. And sometimes we'll take and we'll pitch the, the blade as well like that. All right, first off, just that simple thing, as you study it, there's a potential problem there. If you have a full-size stone and you start with the entire blade on the stone, as you pull it across and down like that, you're pulling the heel off and the rest of the blade off while the toe stays on the entire time from all the way up here to here. So potentially what can happen is the toe gets over -honed. Uh, Bobby Ortiz did a video on this and he was absolutely right on it. He had a, a razor that was uh, real narrow at the toe. You, you'll see some of the older razors like that. They just get over honed at the toe. And that can be from doing this with the X's. Also what it can be is, is a problematic stabilizer. The stabilizer takes, it, it gets in the way, it lifts, lifts the, the razor up like that and shifts a lot of the weight onto the toe. So you get over honed here and there's not much action going on down there. And the real simple way to tell if that's a problem is just take your razor on the stone like this and just roll it up on the stabilizer if you feel it hit like this one is. And I don't know if you can see in the video, but as this one hits, it lifts the toe up back, or I'm sorry, the heel back here and shifts it onto the toe. Um, do it on both sides. And if that is an issue, you just, it's a real simple fix. You just take your Dremel and, 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 and knock that down. Uh, so the, so the blade will fit on there. I know there's some people who go extreme angles, but uh, I don't like to do that only because if I give a razor back to someone, I don't like to have them have special instructions. You have to do it, you know, real severe angle. And that can lead to other issues we'll, we'll, we'll discuss in a minute. Um, so yeah, so that can, that, that can be a problem as, as far as that goes. Um, uh, also another problem with, with, uh, uh, with the, with the simple X stroke is as far as the angle goes. So if you're taking, you're pulling the razor down across the stone, let's just say you're gonna pull this thing at 30 degrees this way, 30 degrees this way. Also, if you were to take and pitch the angle or pitch the, the, the edge or pitch the razor at another 30 degrees, you have to add those angles together. Okay, so you got 30 degrees across the stone, you, you have 30 degrees this way or 45 degrees this way. You start increasing that angle. As that angle increases, you run the potential of the scratch marks going parallel to the edge of the razor and that is problematic. Okay, that can be a problem. Here, let me show you how and why that's a problem and what that looks like under the microscope. Okay, so let's take a look at these sideways or parallel marks that I've been talking about. This is an edge here. We can see these marks going parallel. That is from dragging this thing sideways on the stone or something sideways, all right? You don't want these. Now, here's the thing. These marks in and of themselves, the way that we see them right here, I guess they're not really a problem. I mean, because they are up higher on the bevel. The problem is that whatever made these scratches here, if that were to come in on the edge, then it's gonna take and knock out a portion of the edge. We can see there's this slight, like blown out portion here. As that gets up higher into where that, that, that uh, sideways mark or that, that gouge there, that could further blow that out. Um, all right, so let's take and look it's something where that actually did happen. All right, now we can see again, these sideways marks here. Um, again, the sideways marks, not a problem, but if you look closer down at the edge here, can you see how this is kind of scalloped looking here? And even over here, it's even more scalloped and then right down over here as well. See, I think what happened was whatever made these gouges up here, happened to be sticking up and bang the edge of this. And that's what took and gouged some of that out right there. So now this part right here, that's not gonna shave as well as the straighter part because when you strop it, it's not totally coming to the edge. So we're not, you're not gonna be as keen right there. That's not gonna be as pointy, so to speak, because it's further up on the bevel. So this is just not gonna shave as well. 
So what you want to do in that situation is if you do like to pitch the razor a whole bunch, you'd probably be better off keeping the whole thing on the stone if you have a full size stone and just keep it at that angle all the way across. If you have a narrower stone, it's actually a little bit, uh, a little bit easier only because the toe, you know, isn't going to stay on the whole entire time. Um, okay. Uh, but there's a way that I have found to avoid a lot of the issues and really simplify the X stroke or not run into the issue at least of over honing the toe. And that is what I call look, lean, and roll. Okay. Now as I pull my razor across the stone for an X stroke, I pretty much do it like that. If you've seen it on my videos, the way I just said is probably not the best, meaning I start up here and I pull it down so that so the toe is actually on the stone more. But here's how I work around it. What I do when I hone, first off, I torque the edge into the stone. I'm actually pushing this down. I pull up with this finger a little bit, so I'm applying some torque. I'm not, I don't apply the pressure down this way. I'm actually torquing that edge into the stone. I'm not doing it hard, but I, I am torquing it down in there. Um, also, as I pull it across this way, what I'm also doing is I'm rolling the pressure, and here's the key, from the heel to the toe as I move it across. So I'm starting here with the pressure on the heel, the middle part, and up into the toe like that. All right, I remember when I was learning to hone many years ago, I watched GS Six Guns videos. I watched them over and over, and he said, just think roll the pressure. I'm not actually rolling like a smiling razor. The, the, the razor stays in contact with the stone the whole time, but I roll the pressure, heel, middle, toe, like that. Heel, middle, toe, like that. And what happens is the contact pretty much stays within the center of the stone because when I lap my stone after I've, I've, I've uh, honed a few razors on it, I'll see that the center is kind of dished out, whereas the side there's hasn't even been touched. So I keep that pressure in the center of the stone the entire time, so I don't have to worry about over honing the toe because I'm putting pressure on the heel down here, middle toe. Okay. So that's it as far as the X stroke uh, and a couple of those those issues there regarding the the angle, the parallel. Uh, angle part and why you don't want to do that and also um, um, over honing on the toe if that is a potential issue. But this next thing I want to discuss, this is huge, all right? And this is the part of the video that I didn't know if I wanted to have yet another codicle series because what I'm about to talk about it predominantly relates to codicles. Uh, I have seen some of the issue in other stones, but mostly the codicles. So let's get into that.